morning everyone it is Wednesday morning and we woke up to an ice storm weather forecasters last night said it was gonna be 50 degrees by the time we woke up we got about a tenth of an inch of ice uh, so bad the dogs wouldn't even come back up the stairs they couldn't they kept on slipping so I had to let them in the back door downstairs uh, right now I'm heading into work a volunteer fire alarms are going off like crazy uh, my neighbor across the street said that the main route for me to go in is a parking lot. There's so many accents on it, so I gotta find another way to go. So I gotta drive slow and get in there. Um, I got very little battery on the dash cam, so we'll see what I can get. Uh, so I'm heading in. I will get there when I get there. We are currently sitting, or I am currently sitting on 146 South. I've been on the road for an hour. It normally takes me 15 minutes to get to this spot. We actually had police given Sanders police escorts. The roads are that icy. So I will get to work as quick as I can. Uh, it's going to be a long ride. And they're saying down in Providence, the 95 and 146 are in rough shape. <sighs> Too much fun. Everyone, it is actually about 10 of 4. I'm a little late getting out of here. We had horrible traffic coming in this morning, so I had to stay a little bit late. Uh, heading home, not sure whether I'm going to come in tomorrow. They're calling for about a foot of snow tomorrow. So we'll see. Um, heading home right now. Traffic didn't look too bad up on the highway. Uh, we'll see once I get up there. So I'm heading home. I'll get with you once I get home. <laughs> pretty big storm for tomorrow so uh, my wife's school that she teaches at and our local school district have canceled school for tomorrow which is I think pretty good thing for our local school district um, we went through a pretty scary thing this morning uh, on my way into work we well we had a major ice storm this morning it, the roads were horrible this morning um, so my wife and I were calling each other back and forth, giving us reports, each other reports of what was going on with the traffic and everything. Well, I just, I was just outside of work and phone rang, so I thought it was my wife, so I answered it. It was a reverse 911 call from my local school district, uh, letting us know that my daughter's school, my oldest daughter's school was in lockdown. Um... Yeah, the, the thoughts that go through your head at that point in time is, uh, I just, I can't explain them. Um, basically, make a long story short, there was a threat on social media, and from what I can see, um, I'm not going off of the news reports, because the news reports do, uh, they over-exaggerate everything, um, but there was a threat. Uh, it basically... A student posted something on social media. A child told one of the other children told their parents. The parents contacted the school. The school contacted the police. And from what I can see at this point right now, everybody did what they were supposed to do. And my opinion, the situation was handled perfectly. Um, needless to say, that's a call you never want to get. 
I, I never want to get that call again. I was never so scared in my life. Um, one, I, I always criticize the cell phones. I hate cell phones. But in this case here, I'm glad that we had cell phones because my daughter was able to text both myself and my wife. And she was able to let us know that everything was okay. Um, when, I, when we got in touch with her, the school was out of lockdown. Everything was handled. Uh, and that she was okay and she didn't want to come home or anything. From what I understand, a lot of the kids went home because it really freaked them out. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it scares the hell out of me. It scares the ever-living hell out of me. Uh, I don't know what these kids today think, whether they think they're funny or whether it was supposed to be a joke or it's just, today's day and age, it's just, I, I never want to get that call again. I was never so scared in my life. Um, my daughter it was freaked out. Um, I just talked to her. My wife and I sat down and we talked to her, discussed what happened, and basically she let us know what she felt how she felt and she was pretty scared uh i don't blame her i don't blame her in the bed um but it's just what's going on today really uh i i, I just don't understand these things i can't comprehend them it, it's just it's not right but Luckily, everything turned out well. Like I said, the local police department, the local school department, they handled everything perfectly. Uh, I don't think they could have done anything better. Um, no one blew it off. They took it very seriously. And the one thing I appreciate of where I live is the school department and the police department even let us know everything that's going on. Everyone got calls. Uh, they were actually, I was getting it on my cell phone, I got them on my home phone. Even my work was getting the calls. They kept on letting me know every time they got a call. So, yeah, that was just basically my day today. Uh, when I got home today, I grabbed a hold of my daughter and I hugged her harder than I ever hugged her in my life. Um, and she, she put a post up on her Facebook page and it really got me is... You know, after, she, basically, the, what she put up was after what happened today. She never realized how good she has it and how much she appreciates everyone that's in her life. And my daughter's 14. And a 14-year-old shouldn't have to feel that way. And it bothers me a lot that that's the type of society that we live in. And I grant it, we live in a good good community here. And I know we're not exempt from all all. The garbage today proved it. Uh, maybe, you know, my wife and I, we had a false sense of security of where we live. But today proved it, the society that this world is in today. And I just, I, I don't know how to handle it. Um, I sat down and talked to my daughter. And one of the things that I said to her is, I always try to put a comical or I tr try to make a joke out of something and, and you know what, I keep, there's nothing I can make that's funny about this. The, the, you know, try to lighten the mood or the, there's nothing that I could think of. And, you know, it's, I just, the kids can't be kids with this. It, it bothers me, you know, and as, an, as a parent, God, you know, I, 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 I feel for those parents I guess I, I feel it even more now because I understand the feelings the fear of the what do we do sort of thing so but like I said every everyone is okay the situation was taken care of um, a couple of questions that I have for the school uh, that I, I will be going in and I will be addressing uh, I think they're going to be having an open meeting about what happened to allow the parents to to discuss what happened. So I do have some questions and some concerns about some things that happened beforehand. Uh, but those will be taken care of at a later date. But like I said, uh, I mean, just recap, like I said, my daughter's school went into lockdown today and it was the most terrifying thing I ever went through. It, w it was scary. So, but... 
I'm going to end the video right here, and I'm going to spend the rest of my night with my daughters and my wife, and we're going to do something as a family, either watch TV, play a game, or something. So, right here, I'm going to end it. So, like I said, um, it was a typical day. Uh, didn't get hacked today at work, so that was a good thing. And traffic wasn't too bad, but sorry for such a short vlog, but I'm sorry I'm spending some time with my daughter. So, uh, basically, if you're new to the vlog, <laughs> you came in on a good one. Uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you liked what you um, saw here, click over here. Okay, click the like button, or you can leave a comment below. If you want to follow me, click over here. You can subscribe to my blog. Or if you click down here, you can watch yesterday's video. Or over here, the video from last year, or maybe even two years ago. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.